It's 13.02 on... Ooh, scrambles around for phone for the date. Wednesday, the 8th of February. <coughs> and that could mean that it's time for one thing, and one thing only. It's time for the journey home and biscuit reviews. With your host is me, Edward C. Lewis. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Uh, I looked at a picture of myself this morning, taken on Twitter. You can see it is of me, uh, Bo, and Zach Cantonacci receiving thanks for a... Um, a, a plaque or like a little sort of framed poster uh, from Baz Floyd from Special Effect for, for doing the streams and stuff to say thank you uh, and I looked at the picture and I looked and I, and I, and I thought yeah I think I think it's happened I think I'm starting to look a little bit too much like a, a, a cave troll um, as you can see there by the uh, excessive horrible beardiness. So I'm thinking, it's starting to look a little bit scraggly. Um, so, a bit of hair for you. Um, so uh, I'm thinking um, it might be time. It might be time to do the, to do the, oh, I've lost me now. I literally, I don't know how to get me back. I'm not kidding. I don't know how to get me back onto the screen. That's it, I've done it. I've broken me. Hold on, let's see. Cam. Oh, I've got it! There he Oh, I'm too small now. There you go. I should stop trying to fiddle around with things. <coughs> it might be time to shave. It might be time to shave. The beard fits the outcrust. Yeah, I should have worn it tight done up. Uh, hello! Hello! Why are you flying around, Ed? Concerned? No, sorry, don't be concerned. It's back. I'm back. I'm fine. Right, so let's kick things off straight away. Um, I already have the system ready and saved. I just need to uh, up. Go and click some things. I want to get get jumping, get things moving on because I'm very very excited. To, to apparently, I can get back to. Uh, uh, hello, by the way, everybody. Nice to see you. Where's your 38 T-shirt? I don't wear it every day. Sorry. Sorry, Hatch. Uh, my 38 T-shirt is at home in the wash because I wore it on Friday. I had no time over the weekend to do any washing. I oh, know I've done that. I've done it. I think it's in the ironing pile. It's in the ironing pile. It's got to be ironed first. I cannot wear it. Couldn't possibly wear it on iron, could I? That would be doing a disservice to the T-shirt. All right. Of course. I thank you very much, Bubble Map Gaming Live, for the host uh, auto hosting me. Apparently, that's awesome. I uh, really appreciate that. But this is where I'm going first. Here's my first jump. Let's find out how far I can actually make it. We were failing last time, weren't we? On 187. Do not bookmark it. Take the oh. All right, <coughs> first jump of the day. Of course, it's Guest Wednesday, so that means there will be Frontier Development's guest on for today's biscuit review. Today's biscuit review is a new biscuit that you can pick up at most supermarkets in the United Kingdom. I'm very excited to be doing some real consuming work for you guys, making sure you're testing these biscuits before you have to, so you don't waste your good hard-earned cash on any of these awful, well, potentially awful biscuits, potentially fantastic too. So I'll be talking about the value proposition as well. I'll be telling you a little bit about how much these biscuits cost. I might be incorrect, uh, because I've read it down. Um, yeah, hopefully. It's quite an expensive pack of biscuits. Not too expensive, but you know. Hello everybody, hello the Shrike. There we go, it's time to pick up some uh, fuel anyway. I think maybe it was a good thing that we had to stop. Short. Here we go. Next on plot end. Right, okay, so um, I'm also excited to get back because I want to be, um, what I'm going to be doing is once, once we've got back to the bubble, I'm going to be picking up some passenger missions, some uh, tourism hotspot missions, uh, and earning credits as well as apparently earning exploration data, but also exploration data for scanning places on the way out there too. So I'm going to pick up some of those and doing some of that uh, because I'm determined to close up that final final little bit of expiration rank. Look at that, 38% Pioneer, nearly at Elite. It's good. You've got two launch tees. I've got one of those tees. Yeah, I thought it was cool. I like that one. Good afternoon, XLG47. Good afternoon, this Shrine. Good afternoon, Jack Dean. Good afternoon, Big Fun Art. Good afternoon, Hatch. Good afternoon, Ingborg. Good afternoon, Fuzz Beverly. Good afternoon, well, thank you. Here comes that Zen Arch for now auto-hosting. Tip of you know, you could auto-host. 
Plapia, thank you for auto hosting. It's very kind of you. Frame shift drive charging. And Pixel Band is now auto hosting. Does that mean every time you're not online but I am, I'll just pop up into your feed? Because it's very kind. 38%, I know, believe me. And also we're 38% on trade rank as well. Just to the answer, she was saying, brace me there. Woo! I am playing a lot of Elite recently, so I could actually do it. Um, it's funny, after this, I was thinking, what should we do first? Do we do trade or do we do combat? Now, with combat, it'll be a very different experience. Well, with both, both, it'll be a different experience. I'll be needing your help in the 38. I need our best combat specialists and our best trade specialists to talk me through step by step how to get good at combat and what to do to get high up in the ranks of combat as soon as possible, as fast as possible. So, I don't know. What do you think? What do I get wrong? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the 38%. Where have you been anyway, Ingborg? I've not seen you for a while. Hope you've been working hard at your degree. Shan can help with both. Yes, Shan. I, can, I trust you. But I'm going to need a lot of your help because I think that... It's funny, we were talking about it earlier this morning, and like Zach was sort of explaining how you you know you've gotta make sure your pips are usage is correct and you're you know, you've gotta get balance in the blue to do the turning circles correctly and things like that. And I know all of that. I, I do genuinely know all of that and about heat management and, and all that noise. But I think I think that you guys in the community have played so much of it that you're doing something different that I can't even I haven't even begun to think about what it is that you're doing. Unless I'm just doing the things that I'm supposed to be doing and I'm doing them wrong. I don't know, but I think that it's going to be fun to learn uh, exactly what it is that I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm looking forward to that. So which one do you want to... 190, I can't hit that. I know I can't hit that, so why is it plotting that far for me? What's jump range like? Uh, Sorry, functions. Uh, I've got it set to in Spanish. I think I might have. No. Hold on. Well, it's 186 now, of course it is. Um, yeah. Alright. Big drive charging. <coughs> We'll see what my standard jump range is. <laughs> Shan's about to spend 1.2 billion on a multi crew cut. Just basically, you've got to go and get your engineer mod first. Is that basically it? Is it? How is Zach's trade rank? Zach, Zach is nowhere near. He's nowhere near elite in trade. No, he hasn't quite played it for uh, anywhere near as much as I have in the last couple of months. World of Beast, yeah. The uh, the special effect thank you message was so nice. Yeah, it was very nice, and they just turned up. And I was cycling in this morning and they were just suddenly there and I was like, is that Baz? And it was Baz from Special Effect and he just randomly dropped by because they're so lovely like that. That's what they do. They're probably on the way to go and help somebody, um, you know, help get them access or do a follow-up or something. They're so amazing. I love those guys. Sorry, I'm, I'm concentrating on talking when I should be concentrating on jumping. Uh, all right, let's, let's, let's do some concentrating. Frame shift drive charging. I might reroute on Spanch and just knock down my range because it doesn't seem to be. Knock it down to 46 instead. That might change the multiples to make it more efficient because I keep the Oh no, I've done it from the wrong point. data from the star. Yep, let's see this. I've replotted now, so it should take me, yeah, it's all now 100, under 180 instead of going to do the 190 light year jumps straight up. 
<coughs> so now I can do this. Finish that. So I'm gonna take that. Get in here. Oh, it's all good. Are they based in Cambridge? No, they're not. Though I'm not sure where they're based. I think they're more, much more northern. But they come. They come by quite a lot. They're, they're really, really sweet. How is everybody, by the way? What are you all doing? What are you all up to? Uh, are you all at work? Uh, having your lunches? What is everyone having for lunch? If you're eating right now, what is it that you're eating? I hope it's exotic. And not just like a piece of ham between two slices of bread. Which is fine too, if that's, if that's what you want. Or if that's what you've got. You might, you might be limited to that, for all I know. All right, I've got the next 10 jumps in a row are all neutron stars. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Frame shift drive charging. But it does mean that eventually I will have to check up. So, in fact, it's near enough all neutron stars all the way to Sacagawea Spaceport. So every sort of five or six will have to start. There's only 48 more jumps for galaxy jumps. That's actually around about 48 more jumps. So, if I play a little bit tonight as well, I should make it back at least halfway within a couple of days of play. It's pretty good. Programming and telling the ruins, awesome. Just Call Me Wendy has just come online. Hello, Just Call Me Wendy. I wonder if he's watching the streams. Just Call Me Wendy, of course, spectacularly failed last night. Oh, tonight uh, I have a live stream that I'm doing with Bo. Uh, Challenge Ed and Bow, and it's going to be really, really silly, I think. Fingers crossed it's going to be really fun. But it's basically me versus Bow. Um, YouTube.com forward slash planet coaster forward slash live. Uh, and we've both got half an hour to recreate uh, an item from the workshop made by the community that we've chosen, that the other person's chosen. And the challenge is that I have to, so basically she's chosen something from the workshop, I have to recreate that based on her instructions. So the community will be able to see on screen what it is I'm trying to recreate. And then at the end, then it'll switch over and I'll pick something for her to recreate. And at the end, it's gonna be um, the community decide who was the best overall at both giving instructions and also uh, recreating the thing. So that's gonna be fun. So do come along to that if you are, if anyone's free tonight at 7 p.m. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Thank you very much for posting the link. It's very, very kind of you. And a strawberry trifle. Oh, wait, hold on, yeah. Oh, we've got some lunches coming in. This is exciting for me. This is what I'm here for. This is what I live for, is learning about what people are eating for lunch. Uh, so we have hmm, a banana and an apple for lunch from Jester. A bit boring. I had porridge today, I suppose that was a bit boring too. Uh, you're having a midday off. Good, Shrike. A uh, toasted sandwich from Big Fun Art with ham and lettuce and cheese and honey mustard. Big Fun Art wins it. Uh, and what a nice job it was as well. Big Fun Art is also having a strawberry trifle. Ooh, not at the same time, hopefully for dessert. And special effect of base in Oxford. Ah, thank you. You ate toast with butter. Concerned over. You don't have to be concerned over. That's good. How come I am four off what? Two plex. Am I four off? What do you mean? Four off what? Sorry, sorry, T Blacks, I don't understand what you're saying. Forty two equals four. Forty two minus four. Oh, the meaning of life. Sorry, 42. Thanks to you. Well, uh, the 38 is the name of uh, a faction that we have, actually, that's going into Colonia. Um, it's called the 38 because originally, when we first started doing this stream, quite a while ago now, we had about 38 people who would come along regularly, and I made a joke that Ed's 38, you know, and we started pretending to be a little cult and having a little bit of fun with it. And then it just grew. And then now everybody's in the 38. If you didn't think you're in the 38, and then we created a group of us together. And now we worked towards the community goal in Colonia and we got ourselves a faction there. Which is really exciting. It's 38. 
practical aid. It's 9pm here, just a pumpkin soup with lentils and fried ginger eggs. Mm, what's fr fried ginger eggs? Fried eggs with ginger sprinkled on it? What's a, what's a fried ginger? Yes, Bulderbeast, congrats on making it to Colonia. What are your plans now? You're a newly installed benevolent dictator. Uh, to step down. That's my plan. Uh, there is no leader at 38. There, you know, we're all, it's a, it's a, a 100% a democracy. For the people, we're a cooperative, not a, uh, we're a cooperative social group. Uh, so that means that we shop at the co-op and we use social media a lot. We send a lot of tweets. I think that's what it means. Ginger laid eggs. I don't know what that means, Jester. It doesn't make any sense. <coughs> now, Uni, thank you for the host. I need to set up some alerts and stuff, don't I? We're going to still be doing this Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And it's still up on Wednesday. Oh. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Come on. Come on. Fight it. Yes. Can I just say something? Social eating. Well, I suppose that's what it is. Um, can I just say something really quickly to you guys? Thank you for being here, and thank you for coming back and being silly with me, and thank you for this. I have the best job in the world, and I really do appreciate it, and I, I, I'm very, very lucky. Very lucky to have people come along and watch this silly thing that I do at lunch times. So thank you for being here. Can I also tell you? stuff that we're showing on the live stream next week so we're showing stuff on the live stream next week for 2.3 we're doing two streams next week it looks great I'm so excited to get their hands on it and do those things so like as much as I think it looks awesome and like all the stuff that's really fun and all the different things you can do with it it's then when the community get their hands on it and use it in ways that you wouldn't expect people to use that if you know what I mean that's when it gets really exciting so yeah, keep keep doing that, and I'm I'm really I really can't wait to see what what you think of the stuff. Also, the stuff that we're showing next week isn't everything that's in in two point three. Literally, that's that's all. That's not even secret hands, but it's. Hey, who's um, <coughs> a bit quiet as the game sounds? Sorry, I will turn up my microphone. Uh, I'm not giving any, any tips. That's it now. That's all I'm saying. I've already said too much. <laughs> I think someone's just getting a tour, and apparently Ed's one of our community guys. He's just doing a stream right now, actually. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it does look absolutely amazing. The stuff that you've got in there, it's super hands will not be giving it. I've already probably said too much. Literally, David Braben's standing outside of the office, outside of the room, looking in. He was waving and smiling, but I think he's angry. He's going to be very furious with it, you know. No, he's not really. Anyway, um, I'm sure he's absolutely fine. Uh, I'm anxious now. Anyway. Yeah, next week's streams. I can't tell you the exact date yet. I think we're going to be finding out on two, on Friday. I accidentally may have said one of the one of the words. You know when I do elite streams, right? You might have been able to work out when they'll be. Um, but that's going to be a lot of fun to do. Practical age, as you've heard new rumours about the new features. I would love to hear what you think that is. Yeah, <laughs> it did feel like that. They're looking like there's a little glass window, and they were looking looking through it like. There's Ed. What's he doing in there? He does a silly daytime stream. I mean, it would have been worse if the, the guest came round. Like, some real important, like, <laughs> CEO of another company. And I'm there eating, guzzling biscuits and drinking tea and making silly faces. That would be uh, a little bit embarrassing. <coughs> yeah. David wants a biscuit. Nice. What, what are these... Uh, Ed, by the way, Ed, Shan, um, about your comment there. No comment. I, I have literally no comment on it, and I, and I won't be able to comment on these streams especially ever. So there's no point asking me about that sort of stuff. Sorry. Um, I'd love to, but no comment. Frame shift drive charging. 
<laughs> Just a D's that nearly fell off your chair when I asked Steve what does Dave actually do? <laughs> Yeah, you're not allowed into the Frontier Development's office. They think that they're being brought up to like sign like an NDA. No, they get sat down and they have to do a biscuit review with me. That would be the most bizarre thing. Yes, come on to Taz, more CQC tomorrow night, of course, the developer guest. Uh, not confirmed who it is yet. Because they're very busy with everything that they're doing, of course, as you know. Uh, with the release and the beta release coming up quite shortly. Um, so I sort of have to last minute grab people who are available. Um, but it should be really fun again, as usual. Those CQC streams have become really good. Like, uh, a lot of people have been turning up. Um, come on, charge. Come on. Am I just not quite in it enough? There you go, it's just very on the edge. T giving it a little tickle. Um, Mm. Then it's Adam. <laughs> oh, who's on the streams next week? Um, I'm hoping for Sandy and uh, Adam at least next week on the streams. Drive, but I might get three people in and then I can just sit and control the camera angles and stuff because I've got some good stuff planned. I've got some good stuff planned for the next week. It's going to be really fun. Uh, Commander Hatch uh, says, so when are we going to get Ed Lewis Biscuit Dump Simulator Pro 2017? And why not? Um, so I did ask uh, Frontier Developments to fund my um, my new video game, uh, Ed Lewis Biscuit Dunk Simulator Pro 2017, um, but they refused because uh, there was too many biscuit dunking games on the market and they didn't feel like they were in a position to compete yet. Uh, so maybe if I came back in five years' time and Frontier had grown even further, uh, we might be in a position where we can make uh, Lewis Busket Dunk Simulator Pro 2017. Ooh, Jack Dinko's question. Which are more important, game mechanics, player base, or eye candy? Uh, <laughs> wait, is that a question for me, or is that like a, a is that a, a rhetorical question? Because we all know the answer to that one. <laughs> it's a much loved franchise of global renown, it's true. But Beard Simulator, I might, I'm going to shave. I'm going to shave tonight. Not off entirely, but just give it a little trim because it's it's getting a little it's getting a little excessive in my opinion. A bit too much. What was that? That's the fast supercharge. Get me out of this damn flute! Of wrestling with the controls. Making so much good progress here. And we've got 20 more minutes until today's biscuit review. I'm looking forward to it because again, like I said, I haven't had anything sweet to eat and this isn't a joke or, or an exaggeration. I have not had anything sweet to eat since the last biscuit review. So I'm saving myself for you guys now. So you get a full on true response to how good these biscuits are because I am salivating to eat sweet things. I have the biggest sweet tooth. I don't think that 125 biscuit reviews has helped. I think it's made me much more addicted to sugar. <laughs> so thanks for that. Thanks very much. <coughs> How am I able to charge my FSD so frequently without damaging it? It is taking damage, but what I'm doing is heading to Sacagawea Spaceport. So I'm only doing about 40 charges before I then repair, repair it. Um, so it's fine. Uh, I've never died in a neutron cone. I'm not going to die in a neutron cone. I'm very careful. Yeah, it's general rubbish on the cockpit. <laughs> Should I go for a moustache? I could shave this and just have just the moustache. Like, and I could even twirl it. Hello. Good to see you. It would make me much more of an English gentleman. And I know that you're all very keen for that. <laughs> this is... I am making some serious headway here towards Sakatoya. Feels really good using this Neutron Star Highway. I don't know how I lived without it beforehand, I'll be honest with you. I really like it when they add stuff to this game. <laughs> I do, I really like it. Stuff that helps us. <coughs> uh, 
Yep, so we've only got now 6,667 light years to Sacagawea. Uh, so that's not going to take too long, is it? Ah, ah. ah, life is good. Life is good today. <sighs> is there any type 2 diabetes in your family able to get a current sugar rush? Uh, no. I've got no. I've got. My, my dad's had some heart problems uh, in the past. Look, it's too bushy. It's getting too much now. I just need to just trim it. Just trim it a little bit. It's just like when I look down as well, I feel it like my chest, on my chest or on my neck. And it's like, what is that furriness on my neck? Is there a spider on me? And it's not a spider, it's just me. <laughs> my own furry face. Yes, Bewildered Beast. 177 light year jumps. That is correct. Engineered uh, Asp Explorer. Man problems. Yeah, you know him. Uh, if you try Burns Tash and Soul Patch. I'm not going to do that. I'm not doing a Soul Patch. Because it's not 1990. <laughs> Sorry, if you've got a Soul Patch. <laughs> That's just really offensive, isn't it? I've got a Soul Patch, sad face. No, it's fine. I just don't think I could pull it off. That was rubbish. I was kicked right out of there. Okay, now I'm staring right at it instead of getting out of there. Oh no! No! Okay. Okay. We've had our first FSD malfunction. That means that we... Okay, now we're getting there. We're getting to the point now where it's starting to feel slightly nerve-wracking. Uh... Okay. Should be alright. We did, we did the last half with taking like loads of failures and malfunctions. Frame shift drive online. No problem. What are we, what are we talking? What are we talking, guys? What's the damage? Uh, sorry, modules. 79%. Loads of time. Loads of time. <coughs> it's all good. I'm not going to die. Fuzzy Beverly says, I prefer it's been it is. Well, thank you very much for kind. I just mean a light, I just mean a light trim. It'll look the same. It just won't look quite as scraggly. I mean, look. You can't really see it on the stream, but it looks quite, it looks all right on the stream. Like, it's just in person, you see it in the mirror and you go, oh. I can control the lighting here in the stream, you see. Just a little panic there, nearly didn't catch the throttle. Upwards we go. All right, two more jumps and then I'm gonna find myself a, a nice star to do some scooping with. No one wants to see me die unless it's on the very last jump. That's not true. <coughs> no one wants to see me die full stop. Unless I've parked, turned in data, then people I'm sure actually want to see me die at that point. I know that people on the official streams like to see me die because I die at least twice on every single official stream I've ever done. I don't think I've lasted a full stream without dying. That's how you do a tidy little thing there. So yeah, please t come tonight. Is anyone coming tonight? Please be there. We need your support. We like you being there for the streams tonight for Planet Coaster Stream. Uh, should be quite, should be quite different. A very different one tonight. It's been a while since we've done a challenge Edinburgh. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. It's been a while since we've done a, a proper stream together, actually. That'll be fun. You went from Fuzzy Beverly to Fuzzy Beverly. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know actually, Jack Dim. I'm not sure how that works. I would love to have more information on that. You fear the Planet Coaster stream. What do you mean you you fear the Planet Coaster stream? You bought Planet Coaster and tried out well. Don't feel bad. Thanks for buying it. It's a good game. Very good. It's just, it's uh, it's like Elite. It's uh, we don't make games for the people only play for twenty minutes and then stop playing or like a few hours. It's uh, yet another game where you you know 
uh, will want to play for quite a long amount of time once you get stuck in. Stream tonight is at 7 p.m. GMT. See you there. Starting to be a bit more careful with going into these now that I've now that I'm out in the black a bit more. Don't push me out. I know you want to. Don't. Yes. Doing doing some good work here. Sorry, I'm concentrating. I do apologise if everyone are going to go a little bit quiet. It's because I'm trying to get these jumps done. Whoa, okay, this is my last jump. I won't be taking any more risks with this. Uh, I'm going to do some fuel scooping after this. And then, yeah, let's refresh the screen, see how many more trips it is to the galaxy map before we... So that's done. So this is the next one. Four, three, two, Destination system, so starting system is here. See. You like the quiet mode, Jackson? All right, sorry. <laughs> Thirty-seven more trips to the galaxy map, apparently. That's not right. Is it? Hold on. That doesn't seem right at all. Oops. Sorry, I'm just typing in the new locations. Jacked in likes the quiet moments. Jacked in. Thanks, mate. <laughs> makes it feel good. Yeah. <laughs> Guess how many visits to the galaxy map are required before we get to away? 38, of course. All right, let's go and do some scooping. Biscuits and gravy? What? What are you, what are you talking about? That's very American. I'm not going to do any ASMR. That's not happening. Thank you, there. Excellent suggestion. <laughs> Hey all, quick question for you. What percentage of module damage do the under the ship hologram appear? Four, three, two, 75 and 80%. Oh, nice. What? Oh, it's Cross Kitty. Hey there. How are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you watching this? It's not biscuits and gravy. It's just biscuits. So, welcome to the live stream. Please welcome Cross Kitty to the live stream, everybody. Uh, we did have... I did, genuinely did think of that. Sorry, I didn't see that it was you. We had, yeah, at PAX South last year, we ate biscuits and gravy for the, together in for breakfast. It was my first time I've ever had biscuits and gravy. Let me tell you, it was disgusting. No, this is my live stream where I review cookies, you might want to call it as Americans. Cookies. I don't know if you've ever seen it here before or been here before watching me review biscuits, but we're about to review one in 10 minutes' time. I've reviewed 130... 26 biscuits at this point, and I've got a spreadsheet and everything. So do stick around for that. Everyone's saying hi to Christ. It's been a while. Where have you been? Are you going to Pax East? Are oh, you at Pax East? Hopefully, I can see you there. Uh, where am I going next? Where's the star I was supposed to be at? This one. Nice. Welcoming. Uh, why am I not on Eve streaming with those spreadsheets? How is Eve going for you? I know you've been doing a lot of Eve streaming. I hope it's going well. Never played it still. Still haven't played it. Hey, Plepia's here. He's excited to see the biscuit review for the first time in a while. 
Uh, hoping your sponsor and employer comes through. You're 80% sure that you're coming. Fair enough. All right. Well, yeah. Well, if we do, it would be really great to see you there, of course. Frame shift drive charging. Everyone say hello to Playpia. It's like a thing where anyone comes into the stream, you have to say hello to them. It's my rule now. It's a new rule. You've got to be kind and love one not another. Yeah, and Eve is another one of those space-based time killers, certainly. <coughs> You've got super into Conan. Is that what you stream now? Conan. A lot of other people on the stream talk about um, Conan. Uh, I should try Eve. It's... It, it feels a little... I've got, I've got time in my heart for one major space game currently. Uh, and as you can imagine... Uh, yeah, where's the last time you played? Have you seen this weird stuff? Neutron stars and things. And you've, you saw the... Um, the mysterious flying objects as well. Surely you saw those. You should come, you come back. Come back to us, Crass. Where have you been? Come back. This is a neutron star, uh, and I can surf in it like this. This is a poor example, and it will super supercharge my frameshift drive, which has already been engineered, uh, which means they then have a massive jump range that looks like this. 187, 187 light year jump range. So you can plot distances, massive distances, uh, yeah, so there you go. It's it's fun. I like it. I like doing it. I enjoy it. Uh, I don't know where we're up to. This one? Have we done that jump yet? E114? E226. Right. I made the wrong one. Let's try this one first. What? Oh, 118, that's fine. Yeah. Awesome. Let's do this. Massive jumps. Yeah. You're scared of your hot ass because you haven't touched it in so long. I'll be a worse pilot than ever before. You weren't that bad. Hey, Lost Ark of Pandora. Am I going out to Colonia? No, I, I'm coming back from Colonia. I did two journeys out to Colonia. Uh, and actually, we've got Ed's 38 as our own faction in Colonia now as well. Uh, which is going to be amazing. Like I'm really excited for that to happen. That's going to be happening in a few weeks' time, uh, which is really cool. Uh, but now I'm working my way back to finish off getting Exploration Elite because I am so close to getting it. So it's basically these streams are just big old jump fests at the moment. But yeah, if you do stick around, to do oh God, nearly uh, for another five minutes, it will be time for today's biscuit review. And of course, it is Ed. Wen it's Guest Wednesday. It's Ed Wednesdays. It's Ed, it's Ed every day. Uh, it's Guest Wednesdays, so it's going to be um, we're going to have a Frontier Developments guest that we will, uh, yeah, massage their egos, uh, drink tea with them, and then review biscuit using a spreadsheet. It's going to be fantastic. Fantastic. Let me tell you, stick around. Fantastic. Whoa. Oh, it's rubbish. It was a rubbish surf. Need to get back around. There we go. Am I in there yet? There you go. Supercharged. Ready. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, cannot promise no noises. Um, cannot cannot promise all noises will be uh, pleasure pleasurable to listen to whilst listening or watching this live stream. If you're just listening to it and you didn't see what was happening there, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I plotted the wrong route there. That's not the one we want. We want that one. Yeah, Edna's Day. Edna's Day. Yes, Edna's Day is now a new national holiday in the United Kingdom. Uh, Edna's day on every, every Wednesday. Right, frame shift drive is malfunctioning. And this happens to me every now and again as well, where I have to then all go all the way down to zero throttle because it just doesn't come back up online. Lock onto star itself. 
and then wait if it's under there in the kilometers, and then drop a kind of and then wait till it loads up again. A bit frustrating. It's every now and again. You demand more pleasurable noises. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I what? I'm not six named ranges. Oh look, I know that my spreadsheet management is poor, and you'll see my spreadsheet in, a, in, in just a few moments' time. And it isn't great. It isn't fantastic Ranger spreadsheet Ranger management, Ranger. but um, it's part of the fun is that it's a bit crap. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, Neutron Highway, yeah, of course, on the way back from Colonia. Um, yeah, that's it. Are they? Oh, that's Shane. Is that the Shane bell? I know, I know that, I know that Wilson Navarre's really good with spreadsheets, but <coughs> you know how it is. Part of the fun is that it's a bit of a rubbish spreadsheet. Right, one more jump, and then I'm going to go get my special guest. Yeah, the original Apollo has passed away. Rest in peace, the original Apollo. That's sad news. You're a few thousand light years away, and you keep wanting future self destruct. No, don't do that. Get yourself back. Just make yourself back just the once, and reap those rewards. Just and then. You've just got to sit down, really hash it out. Start yourself a live stream with a biscuit review in between. What am I doing this for? I'll do one more jump because I've already committed to this. Even though I'm doing a terrible job. Because I'm not concentrating, it's your fault. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm sorry. Um, here we go. Slow down, slow down, slow down. And nice and carefully position myself inside. Wait. Now. And then. Maybe should drive a supercharged. Mm -hmm. uh, there you go. Oh, sorry, more pleasurable noises. Uh, sorry. <coughs> uh, what are you talking about, Kate Click? What's going on? Oh, it's Kate Click's <laughs> hammering about. Nice. Yeah, uh, I don't have. I need to get some emotes. How do I do that? I'm sure, I can get some of those sorted. Uh, anyone want to help me out in terms to try and find get some emotes? Do I have to be a partnered streamer? Because that's never going to happen. Uh, mainly because I do it for work, don't I? Kind of like a half work thing. Right, this is actually the last jump this time, if it's if it's working. Come on. Let's just have darkness instead. Two times in a row. I need a biscuit emote. That's what I need. All right. <clears throat> you know what time it is. You know what this music means. <laughs> he says, scrambling around to find the right page. It means it's time for today's biscuit review. So, give yourselves a massage of the knees. Just give your knees, check your knees, check they're okay. Uh, just check them. You never know. Uh, and uh, let me know how your knees are, and I'll be back in uh, two minutes' time for today's biscuit review with a special Frontier Developments guest. See you in two.
That's the noise that signifies that it is 10-2 on Wednesday the 8th of February, and that means that it's only time for one thing, and one thing only, it's time for today's Biscuit Review with a special Frontier Developments guest. And his head is cut off the top of the screen because he's too tall. There you go. Yeah. Slight readjustment. So here we have uh, Ross Stack. Ross, how are you? Cheers. I am very well, thank you. Uh, and thank you for having me aboard. Of course. Uh, oh no, I cheers the wrong way, but it's impossible to do that. Let's uh, wait. We like biscuits. Um, so uh, you've been on here before. Mm -hmm. You've done a biscuit review before. You mm -hmm. know how it works, right? Yep. So we've got our tea. We've got our tea. We've got. Um, well, Ross is an audio engineer, by the way. He made some. He made some of the noises happen in the game. I that did he make some play. noises happen. Tell me about what. Tell me one of the noises that you made happen. And well, do an impression of that I, noise. I just did. Uh, it's just did you right then. Yeah, that, you know that noise. That very famous. The one that I do. Uh, every, <laughs> the one that I do every time. Yeah. Um, the, when I'm honking. Yeah, that's the. Um, mm -hmm. The space donkey. Jack Din says you have a YouTube face. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't. Don't. Let's not ask any more questions about the YouTube face. Let's just carry on. I think it's I a got, compliment. You've really? got a face for YouTube. Uh, okay. Rather than a face for radio. Oh well, that's that's all, that's okay. That's fine. Uh, great. Uh, so let's. So we've got our tea. It is cold in here. I'm excited, but Look. also freezing. We've got, our tea. We've, got, we've got our biscuits, which I'll tell everybody about in a second. Okay, cool. We've got our tea. Mm -hmm. We're missing one thing that, to complete the biscuit review to make it uh, possible. Oh, is it the biscuit spreadsheet? It's the bit you got it straight away. Yes. Some people don't get it straight away. There it is. Look at this. All right. So at the top we have the poppy seed marzipan biscuits, homemade biscuits by Sarah. We have the white chocolate caramel cookies, cookies. Sorry, the Fortman Mason strawberry and cream icing tea biscuit. And look at this, my choice. Did I give you one of these? Jeff's homemade chocolate butterscotch chip pecan cookies. I'm not sure I had one of those. Oh boy, no. they were special. Um, they got a Ed's Choice stamp in Comic Sans Bold. At the top, we have the appearance, the taste, the texture, the durability, the dunkability, the post-dump taste, the satisfaction, the moistness, and then a total at the end. We, of course, have done uh, 129 biscuits or cookies if you are um, a uh, American man mm. or woman. <laughs> Sorry, I do apologize. Talking about cookies. Okay. Oh, well, talking of cookies, today's biscuit or cookie, if you want to call it, is new. It says on the sign, it says new. So that means it is. It's soft baked caramel and choc chunk cookies from Maryland. Maryland famous for the Maryland cookies, standard little round ones that come in the packs. Mm -hmm. um, they're fantastic. In fact, yep. the Maryland cookies. I, I have very high hopes. Uh, Maryland must be in the top 30. <coughs> Here we go. The Maryland cookie. There's a waffle. <laughs> <laughs> Maryland That's cookie. A the Maryland cookie is at 34. <laughs> but yeah, look. Stroop waffles disqualify they are my because they're, but they're waffles, waffles, they're not biscuits. Uh, Balsam messy no disqualify being a cake. <laughs> <laughs> is this like after the fact? Disqualify as a waffle. Uh, yeah, I do the review and I go disqualified. Oh, so no. these weren't going to follow because they're definitely cookies. Okay. All right. So let's write them in. So the packaging is lovely. I like the way that it looks like a sort of. Um, uh, it's very homely. It's homely. It? It's like yeah. your mum's. Yeah, you can't go wrong with gingham, can you? Come on, carry on. Let's um, carry on talking about gingham. Well, <laughs> not many people know this, but yeah. I'm a bit of a gingham fanatic. Are you really? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just gotta um, check. So these are soft baked caramel and chalk chunk cookies. Um, the interesting thing about this is that they're new. So we've done a lot of sort of... I've, I've done um, biscuity treats from all over the world as part of these reviews. But mm. these are new. And these... How new are they, though? Are we just taking... Like, this This could be a new flag that they have on it for 20 years, drawing in more and more customers. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You know, pe people just say, oh, new. I haven't tried those. Oh, I haven't tried those yet. Forget I Well, they fooled me. And let's, we'll, we'll find out. Maybe do some research on it. But basically, everybody at home, this is now... For you guys, this is a bit of consumer advice. These were one pound ninety nine. Do you think that's too expensive? Let's find out. Mm. Let's find out. One pound ninety nine. One pound. That's that's around about one dollar ninety nine these days. It's around about two dollars. <sighs> no, it's around about three dollars, right? I would expect for one pound ninety nine that the packaging looks better. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm very susceptible like the packaging. to, well, there's to no, packaging. There's design. no points in packaging for packaging in this game, yeah. as we know. Okay. Can't get it open. Mm. Are they disappointing? They're disappointing to me. Let's show them up to the camera because the first test, of course, is appearance. Oh, they're sort of soft. They're very soft. Ooh, they're kind of they're not a really, bit doughy. I'm not aren't sure they? about this. I they're do like I together. do like a chewy cookie, but it's all up to the camera for me. So that's 
they're soft baked, so they're supposed to be soft baked chewy cookies. I think they're supposed the to be. The black has sort of a pleasant colour, isn't it? Nice kind of a yeah, nice rich kind of a brown. Yeah, a golden. Um, but I think they're a bit disappointing looking. Mm. If you compare them to that, that makes them look like they're really sort of crunchy. Like they're going to have a nice crunch to them, but they look extra soft baked. Does it say almost, soft bake? It, it does say soft baked. Okay, yeah. well we can. Yeah, but look. That looks kind of like it's going to have a bit of a crunch to it, even though it's soft baked. Mm. You know how they do when you go to like a, an actual cookies outlet, and you buy a proper bag of cookies. Yeah. What am I expecting here? So this is caramel and chocolate this chip. This is caramel and chocolate chip. What do you think for appearance out of ten, Ross? Okay. I think they're a little plain. Based actually. on the first impression, I think I'm going to give it a six point five. I'm going to completely agree with you. Does it need to be rounded up or anything? Nope. I'm going to go for six point three because I'm actually a little harsher on that. I would have gone for a six point one. Okay. Taste. Let's do this. Clear the palate. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Interesting. Doesn't taste like a cookie to me. Don't don't for texture yet. It's a cake, isn't it? it tastes like a cake. It tastes like um an overly baked um a uh, cupcake. Yeah. What a weird texture this is. There's, there's a, there's it's a it's slightly so unpleasant aftertaste as well. Chemically. Yeah. Something that just smacks of artificial to me. Baking soda. Mm. But there's, and also there's this kind of a... Like, there's no caramel, like there's no caramel. Almondine quality, you get, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like almost mm -hmm. like a marzipan -y style mm -hmm. thing, which I, I'm not a fan of marzipan. And what's it doing in a cookie? <laughs> If that is the case, <laughs> what is it doing? This how, da how dare it! You know what I mean. It's kind of. It's, it feels like there's too much. It's not simple enough. You know, there's well, ammonium bicarbonate. Ammonium bicarbonate. Mm, well, so is the is the sodium? It's the soda sort of. Mm. Not good. I didn't like it. It's okay. It's not a disaster. It's not a disaster. And the sugar is... I'm getting the sugar buzz it's now. Sugar. Um, it's jumping in. The chocolate is palatable. You know, it's okay. It's, I can barely, there get, is a I can bit barely of, get in any caramel. There is a bit of chunk in the chocolate, which you, you would expect from... Not enough, though. Mm. It's not distracting from that. All right. Okay. I'm going to go for a very... 6.3 again, I'm going to say... 6.3 is my personal. Yeah. I'd be. I would actually go lower than that. I would say five for me. Well, we're going to go past. We're going for a six. Okay, then. that's okay. Or a five point nine, which is very low. Mm -hmm. Let's go for a six. Let's keep it a six. Yeah. Texture. I don't like it. Okay. I like soft baked. You've cookies. made soft baked cookies for me. Yeah. At your house. So I've got my your recipe. Your cookies great. Yeah, but I, I like peanut butter cookies. They're my thing. Oh yeah. Do you want to hear the recipe? Maybe we should review them on this. On yeah, just... Oh, yeah. Go for the recipe. The recipe is chunky peanut butter oh, yeah. and sugar, and that's it. And you that's mix literally it. it. Together. Yeah, I just mix it together <laughs> and put it in the oven for a little bit. Really? Yeah, yeah that's it. And it goes kind of nice Honestly, and chewy. Honestly, you That's it. Not, that's it. Nothing else. Oh, wait. And an egg. A crack an egg. To keep it, it together. Sometimes. Yeah. For the, for the mixture. Yeah. But it's pretty simple. These... Texture-wise, you could say there is a lack of texture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's There's it. There's a distinct lack it's of texture. <laughs> it's, uh, Put it in your mouth and it sort of just bends yeah. under your tongue, like very soft and mushy. Like as I said, I do like soft baked cookies, but, but that's it feels not like in that something way. Weird about there's, this. there's no. It is spongy. I feel like it's kind of a sponginess. Sponge. sponginess. Yeah. I feel like soft baked cookies should have an outer layer that the bite into it. It's still crisp as you bite in, bite into it, mm. but then it's the centre of it and that's it, kind of soft. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it, uh, but I think as well, that's what the difficulty that you get with soft baked cookies in packets is that is just that is that you can't get that fresh feeling in the same way because it, they will go dry. Yeah. People just making ridiculous comments. I'm sure. Yes. Uh, texture. All right, so I'm going to go for a five. I'm really upset about it. Why aren't my cookies on the list? Somebody's asking. You should get I'm them on. I'm going to bake it back. Oh, I would love to. And, you um, can't be in for that review, obviously. Oh, no. You can watch it. Well, I can pay somebody off, though, in the company. Too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, I'll do, those, I'll do those as a solo review, and then you can't. <laughs> All right, Durab uh, I'm going to for texture. What do you think? Mm. I've gone for five, quite low. Yeah, I'm five here as well. Um, uh, durability, how many crumbs have you got? And that's the weird thing, there's hardly any crumbs. It feels like there should be more of a crumb from a cookie. Yeah. I don't get this category yet. I'll be honest. Like, I, I just, This category is how... how I, I've never been in a situation 
like some kind of a survival situation yeah, yeah, where yeah, I yeah. brought biscuits yeah. with me, where I felt that durability has been an issue. <laughs> but okay, let's go with it. I will say they're very durable. Right. Okay. Some some people in the in the comments are saying that five is too high based on our reaction. I actually think that maybe Ross's negativity is outweighing my own. It's not annoying me enough. I didn't like it that much, but I would say that. It's not putting me off the biscuit, if you yeah. know what I mean. So the durability isn't to my meh. tastes, but it's just it's meh. Done. It's not like, oh, awful. It's just, I don't care. How do we, like, shouldn't you have some machine for testing durability? No, so like durability, kind of it's a, just you look a, around, look around. How many crumbs are on the desk? There's a few crumbs, but not too many. So it's actually quite high because it's very it's strong. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's failed the shake it test. It failed the shake test. <laughs> <laughs> failed the shake test. <laughs> Consistently <laughs> failing the shake test. Oh, God. <laughs> right, it's failing the shake test. But um, in terms of the other, we've never okay. done the shake test before. Crumb wise. <laughs> crumb wise, very little crumb. Yeah. It's got, it's got a clean break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's quite high. It's like an eight. Oh, <laughs> Point my God. Brings me back three. to my days of material science. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. Uh, dunkability, the real test, the one that everyone's care. You okay. can do some of the stuff you've thrown around the room. <laughs> Sorry, I've just. <laughs> if you want. Oh, no. The cleaners will not be happy. No, okay. don't worry about that. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> New biscuit uh, for donkey. All right. You ready? Three. And then we hold it for three. Okay. Three, two, one. Show off to the camera how much it's. This looks like a good cookie that I've got here, by the way. Mm. Back in for a trouble, double dunk. Uh, three, double two. Well, if you think it can hold it, one. And then it's starting to sag. Certainly mine is. Anyway, is yours? Is it sagging? I mean, I've, I've, I've dipped mine f in. I'm going to go for a triple. I'm going to test it with a triple. Dip. You know. One, two, three. It's gone for trouble. It's, it's dunking well. Oh no, you can see that it is starting to really sag. Yeah. So I wouldn't go for. Oh, are we going to have a splashdown? No, we're not. We're all right. So it's done quite okay, well. I'm looking at this and I don't really want to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Uh, yeah. No. It's just... Too much. Whatever dunk. lack of texture it had before has been <laughs> completely obliterated now. I probably it's been done. I'm going to be honest with you, I like the taste a lot. I like it really, really soft. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not going to eat it. You're not going to eat it's it? It's like the kind of thing that, okay. that just puts me off. I'm all sorry. Right. You can just drop it in there if you want. No, I'm just... It's all just very upsetting. He's holding it. <laughs> You're the one who's throwing it around the room. Okay. okay. <laughs> Come on. Come on, face your fears. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, unpleasant. Do not do the, the shape test. No. No. Uh, that's it. it was good. I like that. If you say so. Dunkability was strong. It held up surprisingly well, but not. I wouldn't have gone for a quad dunk. Are we talking about the... Oh, po okay. So dunkability, we're talking about almost... It's a ridiculous thing. Don't worry about the it. The ability to re retain some kind of structural integrity mm -hmm. after dunking. Yeah. So this is the post-dunk taste, which I thought was chronically bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually thought it was all the same. Like, no difference. The, it, I, it, no, it definitely made it worse for me. It made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it a five uh, point. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, 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 five. Five, okay. five point six. Right. Okay, right. Satisfaction. Throw science to the wind as we already have. They were awful, weren't they? <laughs> I just have the taste still in my mouth. And it's yeah, just like... it's, I need to go and wash it out with something like a vegetable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to get, <laughs> I need to just chow down on some beetroot after this. My desire uh, for beetroot has skyrocketed mm -hmm. since I've eaten this biscuit. All right. Um, so yeah. yeah, not very satisfying. Okay. I've four, three, mm, three, three is a good number for me. 3.3. More ishness. Is there such thing as less ishness? <laughs> minus. Are we going for minus? <laughs> you, you literally couldn't finish your second one. I couldn't. I, that's, that's I'm a, I really hope. I wonder if. But let's see if Biscuit Cam is, is ready because I want to show you this. No, it's not. Look at that red screen. That is definitely not working. <laughs> uh, we've got a chi oh, chili cam. I still haven't changed that from a long time ago. Um, give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we are all, uh, it's already past lunchtime and we should already be in meetings and things, I'm sure, but yeah. um, we, it's, um, this is too much of an important task. This, this is indeed important. Let's just postpone yeah. 2.3. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> right, you, so, hold on. Just, oh, is this biscuit count? Well, yeah, it's biscuit count. Okay. 
I will, Everyone loves it when biscuit cam comes in. I will be. I will be the biscuit cam operator. If it works, because there it is. Oh, right. So, so do, is, do we pull back out? So, get in focus. Come on. Look further out. I think it has to be. Oh, what is going I think on? It's rather writing? overexposed, isn't it? <laughs> I can do that. I can. I can configure that. Uh, oh, oh, that's oh, a bit better. Oh. Okay. Oh, there you go. Maybe I'm just shaking too much. Let me let me be in control of this. Look at that disgusting mess that Ross has left. Yeah, that's it. It's just, it's just sagging it's, into and this and a bit, and like into bit this pit. Here. It's just. It's just <laughs> <laughs> it's, have you ever seen anything so sad as that? <laughs> that is just the saddest thing I've ever seen. Oh man, shame, shame, shame. Uh, all right, yeah. Everything about that picture just so says failure. So Morishness two. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what are the scores? 44.5, putting it maybe in the bottom 10. Let's find out. I know that you can do this automatically, but I don't care. This is my spreadsheet, and I'll do it however I want to do it. Okay. So here we click on that, and then we do order, and then we find out. 44 point, what did I say it was? There you go. 118th place, because, of course, number one is the top of thing, and I know we can do that a little bit. Um, Mary Lacretians. Is it in the top? Is it in the bottom twenty? Oh, How many of these are there? One, two, three, four, five, oh. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Bottom twelve. I'm going to say something at this point, Ed. Go on. The last thing I was last time I was on the show. Yeah. We all had a biscuit that came. I think last, it might be you. Last. Like I'm. Am I just overtly negative about biscuits? Is that is that the problem here? Mm -hmm. Or do you just keep? Keep choosing me to, no, look. To, to sample the really All bad right. ones. No, no, no. Come on, look at these. Look at that. Look at that packaging. That looks like a good one. I was excited about reviewing these. It, it, it all just goes back to Gingham. Never trust Gingham. Never trust Gingham. That's I what I said, said before. That we should always do. You know, just never, yeah, never trust Gingham. Never trust Gingham. Yeah. Anyway. Well, let's get back to work. <clears throat> yeah, indeed. Thanks for having me on. Well, thank you very much. Good. Can you come back again at some um, point? I'm going to wash my uh, my mouth out with some kind of a Brillo Soap. pad. And, um, yeah. Soap. Yep, yeah, indeed. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you for being here. Remember, right. we're back tonight, 7 p.m. GMT, youtube.com forward slash Planet Coaster forward slash live for Charlie Dead and Bow. And then Thursday, we're doing some CQC with Xbox One and PC. And then on f Friday, nothing. Day off. Oh no, Friday I'll be back here for the Bisc Quiz with my dad. What well, Neil Lewis comes on and does a quiz with everybody in the chat. So come along for that. that. Because it's good fun because he does the quiz. It's me versus everyone in the chat and I lose every time. I won once. Uh, and then next week of course, Biscuit Reviews. And there's always a Biscuit Review at the end of every stream as well. So do come back. Make sure you follow <coughs> me. Have a good time. And uh, thanks Ross. And Thank uh, you. see you soon. Bye everybody. Bye bye.